Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Shadow, okay, the full Shadow Collector, welcome to another Disney related video on my channel. So I'm not going to hold you guys up, we're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are new around here, be sure to hit that sub button down below, like the video if you enjoy this type of content. But yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Alright, here we go. So as you can see on the screen, I didn't show this in my last video, but we are getting a Platinum Edition of Hercules and Meg. So this has been confirmed to be a 12-inch Limited Edition doll, courtesy to Nonstop Spiders on Instagram. So I'll leave a link down below in the description for you to check out their Instagram. But thanks to them, we now know that this is officially a 12-inch set. So I did post this on my Instagram, so I knew all about this. So if you guys want like real-time updates, go follow my Instagram. That will also be in the description down below as well. So if you want real-time updates, that's where to look. But right here, this is what's interesting. So we're getting another Snow White doll for D23. That is what we're going to be getting as well along with this Hercules and Meg Platinum Edition set. And we're also getting a Shuri from Marvel's Black Panther. If you guys didn't know, we've been getting a set of basically classic dolls, I guess, for the Marvel female characters. And not too long ago, we got an announcement for uh, Marvel's Disney designer collection, pretty much. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. So essentially, it was this, this Marvel designer collection. So this is what I'm presuming this right here is going to be a part of this Marvel's Black Panther Shuri doll. That's my presumption of what it's going to be. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what it's going to be announced at this expo, is this collection officially. And I think it's going to start in the fall, and I'm pretty sure the last three here, these three, are going to be D23 exclusives. The reason I say this is because we got official confirmation that Merida right here and Jasmine are getting Shop Disney variants later this year. So we are getting an official 10th anniversary Merida doll outside of D23 and we're getting an official Jasmine anniversary doll as well. So it's going to be handled just like the 2019 Vanessa doll for the 30th anniversary of the Little Mermaid. If you guys don't remember, essentially the D23 one had a glow on it, like a purplish tint to it, as well as purplish tint hair. And also these, I don't know what to call them, like breastplates, I guess, were more pointy and more high up. While the Shop Disney one, which is this one right here, this one did not have the purple tint and... These breastplates basically were a lot lower than the D23 one. Of course, some would argue that some of the details are different as well, which I could definitely see the D23 one being a little less detailed. I don't know because I don't have either of them in person. I can't make that conclusion, and finding online photos of the D23 doll is a little hard. I can't seem to find the official announcement or official photos of the D23 doll, I can only find the Shop Disney one that you see before you, so it's a little hard to tell as what else is different, but it's basically going to be variations like that. Also, something to note that the D23 had darker skin, so I don't know if that's a result of the purple tint or it's just the fact that the Shop Disney one literally has lighter skin tone. Which I presume is what they're going to do with Jasmine. So right here, as you see before you, this is the perfect pigment for Jasmine, in my opinion. This is how you do a Jasmine doll. So my presumption is that for the Shop Disney Online version, she's going to be more lighter skinned. And it's going to be probably... I'm assuming the lamp is not going to be included with it. That's my guess. And there's going to be like a few less details on the doll itself. Personally, I'm going after the D23 one because this one looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what the official online shop Disney version is going to be, but I'd rather not take any chances before the prices in the aftermarket skyrocket for these dolls. Because you gotta remember, like, the people that go to these events, while unfair it is that the the event's exclusive, they still have to pay for like plane tickets, hotel rooms, shit like that. So all that kind of goes into the price of the doll itself if that's basically what you're only going there for. Which in hindsight, it kind of sucks if that's all you're going for because you're not really getting 
basically value for your buck. So I wouldn't do that personally, but to each own, anyone can do whatever they want with their money. So that leaves Giselle. So Giselle, from the sounds of it, from the looks of it, she is in fact going to be D23 exclusive. So there's no chance of getting her anywhere else. So she's essentially going to be Ariel from 2019 and her princess form with her two legs and the pink outfit. That's essentially what Giselle is going to be. Now, it's still up in the air as to whether or not we're going to get a live action version of Giselle in the future. I would assume yes, because we haven't got a live action doll this year yet. And I seriously highly doubt we're going to get it for Pinocchio. So, yeah, I'm expecting Amy Adams Giselle to come up probably later later this year, if not early next year. It's just I don't expect it to be a one-to-one to this dress at all. I expect it to be a completely different outfit, personally. So these photos right here, these are the more updated versions. Again, this is thanks to non Nonstop Spiders on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below, but these are the updated photos for this trio. So I think that's all of it I, that I covered. Uh, there's definitely going to be more announcements throughout the night. Uh, I'll probably post another video tomorrow about this stuff, and then once all the information has been gathered as to all the dolls that's going to be at this event, I'll give my full-on reaction to what I think of this entirety. But I do believe I covered everything. I did mention Snow White is getting a doll, a, a D23 exclusive doll. Uh, I did talk about these three most likely being D23 exclusives. It would not surprise me whatsoever. Because these are variants of the pre-existing versions of the designer collection doll. So, yeah. It would not surprise me one bit. Considering that we're getting variants of uh, Meredith and Jasmine right here for Shop Disney. would not doubt one bit that these three are D23 exclusives. Which... Essentially, it sucks, and it kind of makes this annoying like here where it says it's a collection of 15 dolls, which in technicality, they're not wrong. It is part of the line. It's just exclusive to an event. So, I just want to be clear, as of right now, there's no confirmation that these are the event exclusive. I'm just making that assumption. As time goes on, we are going to get full information as to what's going on with these. I expect to get a very clear idea as to what's going on when Bell releases on the 13th of this month, which is in 10 days. So you guys let me know what you think of all this down below. Are you sad that you're not going to be able to get these most likely? Because again, these are most likely going to be limited editions of a thousand. So it's going to be hard to get these dolls. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and hit that sub button if you're new out here. And before I cut out, I just want to add in real quick. I did do an unboxing review. For the Moana doll, it is already scheduled to go up the same day as this, which is going to be September 4th. So, by the time of this upload, it will be Sunday morning. And this unboxing review will be also posted. So, go check that out if you haven't already. But, thank you all for the support, and I'll see you all next time.